Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be using ChatGPT to help us plan the perfect sprint. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, as that does really help the channel grow. Also, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, before we jump into the video, make sure you check out the description of this video, as I now have paid courses available. So if you want to take a class with me in just 12 hours, I'm going to make you either an expert scrum master or an administrator, all the details in the description below. Let's jump into the video. Here I am in ChatGPT and I'm going to tell it, tell me how to plan a sprint as a scrum master. While this is loading, I want to talk a little bit about what it takes to plan. There is a lot of coordination, a lot of communication that has to happen when you're planning a sprint as a scrum master. Now, it can be a little bit daunting. If you've never planned a sprint before, you can definitely rely and use ChatGPT to help you go through the process. But I will tell you as a big caveat, if you work at a place that already has an existing process in place, make sure you're following those rules. I would then use ChatGPT to augment, not replace that process because then you can get into some trouble. But if you're working somewhere that is kind of new to Agile and you're trying to figure out what's the best way to coordinate and get these teams working together, then this is where ChatGPT can really come in and help you out as it can give you ideas. It can give you a process, a checklist, if you will, of the different things that you can do. So I've been planning sprints in Jira for years and I'm going to be looking at these results and basically commenting and letting you know if it's good or if it's a bad idea and hopefully get you planning better sprints in Jira. So let's look at the responses. ChatGPT says, first step is create a Jira board. Start by creating a Jira board for your project. This board can be either Scrum or Kanban board depending on the type of Agile methodology that your team uses. Now, while this is great advice, it fails to mention that Kanban boards really won't work well for Scrum Masters. And so you wanna make sure that if you're watching this or that, or that you're asking ChatGPT the same question, that you focus on the scrum board. The scrum board is ultimately going to give you the best configuration. You could technically use a Kanban board, but you're going to have to make some modifications to truly use it better. Otherwise, a Kanban board is just not going to work out very well, specifically when you're trying to plan a sprint out. Next, we're defining our project backlog. Once you've created the board, define your project backlog by creating a list of user stories and tasks that need to be completed. These items should be prioritized based on the value they deliver. Uh, this is absolutely 100% true. So the way I like to do this is once you have your board, once you're basically funded to go do something, you want to capture the work. You want to capture all the stories, the tasks, um, bugs, if they have any at that point, everything that goes into what things do we need to do as a team to create this product. And you do want to have them prioritized. This is very, very key. I wish I would have focused on this a little bit more. But when you're coming into your sprint planning session, you want to have a prioritized list. You want to have a prioritized backlog. In your sprint planning meeting, you do not want to be doing all the prioritization there. That is not the appropriate time. You want to ensure that a day or two or maybe even three days before your sprint planning meeting, you are meeting with your product owners and your tech leads and they're helping you or they're prioritizing the backlog in general, whichever, whatever process you have in your company. But at the end of the day, when you start your sprint planning meeting as a scrum master, you want that backlog to already be prioritized. So very, very key that this is a, like a prerequisite, if you will. Next, we have create the sprint in Jira. Okay, so obviously this is a really good tip. Once you have your prioritized backlog, you're gonna wanna create the sprint so that we can basically start planning that sprint. So yeah, this is really, really key. It also tells me, give the sprint a name, select the start and end dates, and note that the duration is typically two to four weeks. So really, really good tip here. The one thing I will add though is, if you're also in this process, or at least in this step in the process, make sure that you also give it a sprint goal. Having a North Star for your team is really, really key. It helps the team kind of stay focused, and it helps make sure that the team is not just working on a hodgepodge of work. They're kind of focused on delivering some value and, and that sprint goal usually helps hone the team in and keep them a little bit focused. Up next is we're adding user stories or tasks to the sprint. Users are going to add them to the sprint by dragging and dropping them from the backlog to the sprint. Ensure that you have enough items in the sprint to keep the team busy for the entire duration. So this is essentially, yes, this is exactly what we're doing next. Now, there are some 
restrictions or some things that we're going to be talking about here, but I like where this chat GPT is going. It's giving me the next two tips, which I really, really like. I really like that it's asking or telling us to assign team members. I am a big proponent of this. I know Agile says, let the team be fully autonomous and kind of be self-organizing. But I, when the stakes are high, I like to make sure that all my work is assigned to the right individual uh, just to make sure that we have that accountability built in. So I'm really, really happy that step number five is once we're dragging them into the sprint, we're assigning them to the right individual so that again, so that everybody knows what they're responsible for during the sprint. I love that. <laughs> I'm being validated. My thoughts are, are not so far fetched. They're actually validated by ChatGPT. Step six here is estimate the work. This is really, really key. You do not, the whole purpose of the sprint planning meeting is to estimate this work. Well, I mean, it's to plan it, right? But the critical part of the planning is the estimation. Because if all you're doing is dragging and dropping stories into your sprint and you don't estimate them, how do you know how much work is enough? How do you know if your team's under-tasked, over-tasked, or tasked just right? How do you know if your team even has a chance to succeed now? Because if you're just bringing in work because you know work needs to get done, that can be so overwhelming. You can't boil the ocean. And the whole reason we do the sprints is to kind of take a cup out of that water and boil a cup of water. And that sprint needs to be focused. And we want to estimate all the issues that are in that sprint so that we can ensure that we have some visibility. It's going to be an estimate. So there's going to be some variable of error. But in general, it's going to give us a, a general idea of are we on the right track? Are we taking on too much work or too little work? Or are we just right? And there are tools. There's Insight. And there's a couple of other techniques you can use in Jira to help you make sure that you're hitting those numbers. Because unfortunately, Jira doesn't have any capacity planning. There's nothing like ADO where you can go into the sprint and for each individual in your team, you can predetermine or predefine their capacity. That's not possible. So in Jira, you kind of have to leverage what is available to you, which is the insights, the actual story point count. And if you assign each issue to an individual, you'll be able to see by individual how many points have been assigned to them in this duration of this sprint. So again, nothing like the full capacity or resource planning, but you at least get a little bit of something. Finally, we're gonna monitor the progress. So as the sprint progresses, use Jira to monitor the progress on the team and update the status. Uh, so yeah, so this is basically solid advice. I would say this is a very beginner's, if you have never planned a sprint before, ChatGPT, if you follow those rules, that guidance, it should get you going. I think uh, it would probably cover about 80%. The only things that I would add that I personally do when I'm planning my sprints are I make sure that I close out the previous sprint. I think that would have been a good thing to, to have mentioned that make sure that you accommodate or you take care of any rollover work because this assumes that you're like in a blank slate. But most times when you're planning your sprint, you are trying to adjudicate and figure out what do I do with the stuff that didn't get done in that previous sprint. So that's one thing that I always check for. Two. The other thing that I does not mention here that I like to do is just kind of a little boat of confidence. I like to pull the team before we actually start to sprint, do any go backs, double check, cross our T's, dot our I's, make sure that everybody's comfortable with the work that is being asked of them to be performed for that sprint. I make sure that we try to, um, I want to make sure that there's no like gotchas in the middle of the sprint. So I, I, I double check with my product owner. I double check with other stakeholders and go, hey, here's the list. Are we missing anything? anything that's coming to mind that didn't make it to the list that you think might make it to the list within the next two days because there's nothing worse than having just scope creep come up a day or even minutes after you start to sprint. So I just like to, to read the room a little bit and ask them and just double check that nothing is gonna pop up. So those are a couple of things that I typically like to do in my sprint planning sessions, but the six, seven tips here that we got from ChatGPT, perfect for beginners. So. I wish you luck. And if you have any questions, that comment section, feel free to ask me any away. And if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, again, that comment section is where I'm reading. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, do please keep in mind that every like and every subscription to this channel helps the channel grow tremendously. So make sure you are actively engaging in that comment section. Drop a hello. It also all it all helps out with the algorithm. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.